were talking about White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows claiming they can't control the pandemic. I mean, is this news to anybody? Do you think he should maybe wait until he can figure out something better to say, Joy? Well, that would be nice, but they can't, they can't figure anything out. They, you know, what is he saying? That there's no leadership and we're completely incompetent. You know, they have no plan for anything. They don't have a plan for these kids at the border to be reunited with their, with their families. They have no plan for the climate. They, they, you know, they keep talking about the economy, how great it is. Well, why have, hasn't this administration figured out that when you correct the coronavirus and get the numbers down, then the economy will improve? They can't seem to put two thoughts together, you know? And, and mm -hmm. I mean, and then they could have done a lot. That's the tragedy of the whole thing. They, they could have done a lot. I mean, he could have considered himself a wartime president, put in mask mandates, put in social distancing mandates. Because if there were a real war, which I feel we're at war with this virus, that's what he would have done. And Americans would have stepped up and done what they told you to do, the way FDR had certain things in place back in the day. Instead, he lies to the American people. He discourages people from wearing masks. He calls the scientists a, bu a bunch of idiots. And now they're waiting for a vaccine from the exact people that they called idiots. They are totally incompetent. What gets me is that the Trump supporters, they know, they know this. They know he's incompetent. They know he has no plan. Think about it. What is the real reason that they're voting for this guy? Because there's, they, he's not doing well, the book kiss for them. So, Anna, I'll, I'll ask you, I mean, I, should they just stop talking about stuff like this when you know that they don't know how to make it stop, or should they just keep spinning as they are? Look, I don't know how they stop talking about it when you see the spikes that we're seeing throughout the country. There are states that are seeing their highest numbers ever. And so the questions are not going to stop. Until the virus stops, until the deaths stop, until the hospitalization stops, the questions are not going to stop. I th but in Washington, a mistake, a faux pas, is when somebody mistakenly says the truth. And what Mark Meadows said was the truth. They can't control the pandemic. Just look at it. They can't control it even within the West Wing of the White House, much less in the country. But it's crazy and it's, a, you know, it's mixed messages when you've got Trump, on the other hand, saying, we're rounding the corner. We're rounding the curve. Yeah. I don't know what curve he's talking about. Dead man's curve, apparently. But look. The problem is they got to stick with each other. There's eight days to the election. There is nobody else to bring in as the new chief of staff. You know, you got Kellyanne dealing with mama drama in her house. You've got half the West Wing recovering from COVID. Jared, we haven't seen him in a month. God knows where he went. So uh, Mark Meadows is basically it. They better uh, stick with him for the next eight years, even if he eight days, even if he is off message. And the other question is, where is Dr. Fauci and why has he been silenced? That's what I'm wondering. Why has he been silenced after all this time? Mm. I don't know. I leave it. I leave that up in the air. That's why. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. We'll be right That's back. Inconvenient truth.